Hey there, I'm Dr. Katie Nelson. Um, I'm about 24 hours into the Fresh Pet Fridge Challenge, and I have to say, it's a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I have two kids, I have two dogs, I have a husband, and I love to cook. So not being able to use my refrigerator puts the challenge in the Fresh Pet Fridge Challenge. I'm committed, we're gonna make this happen, we're gonna do this this week. So it's really making me think a lot about what we feed to our pets because for years we've just pulled stuff out of the pantry and fed them a lot of grain, but for them to eat fresh, it's really a lot more difficult. Today was a pretty long day. Went in the pantry, got out a can of soup and some crackers, and as I was eating it, I was thinking, this is what was convenient, and that we really need to think about feeding our pets fresher foods and better foods um, so that we're not sacrificing in the health department. I feel like I kind of had an aha moment today. The dry kibbles and the food with all the preservatives in it, you know, similar to the pasta that I pulled out of the cabinet tonight, is definitely not the healthiest things that we can be feeding, not only our families, but our pets. When you are going to eat fresh, it definitely takes a little more effort um, for humans, uh, but for pets now, it's really not that hard. I mean, all you have to do is go to your fridge, get out your fresh pet, and you've got fresh food for your pet for you know 50 some odd years. We've been feeding these dried, extruded, carb-loaded, preservative-laden foods to our pets. We've got a better alternative now, and it involves that refrigerator right behind me. Thank you, Fresh Pet, for asking me to kick this off. It has absolutely changed the way that I will recommend food to my clients.